Good morning student. This is your computer teacher Nagendra Kumar. In last video, I had discussed about operators in Java. In this video, I am going to discuss iterative construct in Java or loops in Java. So let's first understand what is iterative construct. The iterative construct or iteration statement allows a set of instruction to be performed repeatedly until a certain condition is fulfilled. It repeats block of a statement till the condition is true. The iteration statement are also called loops. Java provide us three types of loops. The first one is while loop, the second one is the do while loop and third one is the for loop. In this while and for are called entry control loop and do while is called exit control loop. The loop in which check the condition in the beginning are called entry control loop and the loop in which the condition is tested at last is called exit control loop. Let's start with the first loop that is while loop. The while loop of Java repeats the statement or statements till the given condition is true. The syntax while then within the parenthesis test condition we have write the test condition and within the curly brace the set of statements we have to write. It repeats block of a statement that is inside the curly brace till the condition is true. The while loop is called the entry control loop because it check the condition at the beginning. Now, every loop have three important elements, initialization, test condition and update expression. Initialization is necessary before entering in the loop. Test condition is an expression whose truth value decide, where truth value is decide whether the loop body will be executed or not. Update expression change the value of loop variable. Now take example class test. Within the class the main fu function public static void main. Now we have initialized a variable i is equal to 1. Then within the while loop I have written a con condition text expression i less than equal to 10 means this loop is continuous revolve till this the value of i is less than equal to 10 and within this loop I have print the value of i and this time we have update at last we have update the value of i i is equal to i plus 1 so initially i is equal to 1 1 is less than 10 condition is true so it prints 1 and after that we increase the value of y i is equal to i plus 1 that is 2 2 is also is less than 10 then it again print the condition print the value 2 in this way this condition is true till the value of i is equal to 10 each time we have increased the value of i so it prints the result from 1 to 10 now next loop is do while loop the do while loop it also works in the same way as while loop but in this loop condition is checked at the exit point at the last. So syntax of do while the first do and then the within the curly brace we write the different statement. This is called body of loop and at last we have check while and within the parenthesis test condition and semicolon. Keep in your mind the do while loop always ends with semicolon. It is called exit control loop. Do while loop is called exit control loop because it check the condition at last. Example class test, then the main function public static void main. Here I have initialized i is equal to 1, and after that we have to write do and do. At the entry point, it is do. It does not check any condition. It directly print the value of i. And first time it is i is equal to 1. So we print 1. 
and after that increase the value i is equal to 2 and it checks 2 is less than 10 yes 2 is less than 10 yes so it again go to do each time it increase the value and it prints the 2 at last it check the condition in this way here also we have to print 1 to 10 then third loop for loop the for loop in java is the easiest loop the for loop of java is the easiest loop the for loop is also iterates the statement till the given test condition is true this is useful when you know how many times a task is to be repeated the syntax or general format of the for loop in a same line we have to write for then within the curly brace initialization then semicolon then the text expression then semicolon then update expression all the three important things we have to written after semicolon and within the curly brace we have to write block of statement this is body of loop the initialization text expression and update expression all are in same line in for loop for example class test public static void main main function and here we have to start with the for directly for int i is equal to 1 here i have taken the 0 by mistake it is i is equal to 1 then i the test condition is a, i is less than 10 i plus plus the first time it print 1 in for loop the first time the first two part the initialization and test condition is gone and from the next time the initialization part is over then first it update the statement and then check the condition so first time i is equal to 1 and it check 1 is less than 10 it is true then it enter inside the loop and it prints 1 after that next time it update the statement i is equal to i plus 1 2 2 is less than 10 yes condition is true then it again enter inside the loop and it print the value is 2 the next time it update the value of i it is 3 in this way it means the initialization is only done at the beginning and after that it first check it update the value of i and then check the condition and in this way we print 1 to 10 here i is equal to 1 we initialize i is equal to 1 this is all about the java loops so try to solve different series based program in java so student Stay at home, stay safe, thank you.